They sprinting away from the 1,000 metre marker, a nice beginning this one. Kept secret with the red blinkers is off to lead them early on. Girlfriend is on the left-hand side. Maria Stella, the pink cap, now tax overs among the leading division. They are followed further back in the field by Class Act. And then further back in the running, Royal Honeymoon Sister Cosmos is towards the outside. That's got the blue cap about four or five lengths off the leader. And then further back in the field, Royal Honeymoon. They've tacked over towards the inside of the track and Girlfriend's the leader, Maria Estella. Then comes King's View. They'll follow it further back by Ginger Biscuit. Class act on the outside. Sister Cosmos now got about two or three lengths to make up on the stand side. Getting to the 200 meter marker though. Maria Estella, Ginger Biscuit, Sister Cosmos. Girlfriend on the inside, but it's Ginger Biscuit. Sister Cosmos is running late, but Ginger Biscuit goes on to win it. Sister Cosmos will be second. Girlfriend in third and then came Roy's Folly. Number one, Ginger Biscuit, the Admire Main, Gavin Finzale. And they win it well. Another one for Summer Hill Stud, Warren Kennedy. Third win from 20 outings for Ginger Biscuit. Pays up 12.40 the win, 3.10 the plays. Second, number four, Sister Cosmos, the toad favourite. Third position went to girlfriend number 11, then number 5, Roy's Folly, King's View, Maria Estella, Lily Gray is further back in the running, and then came Kept Secret. And they were followed by Class Act, who as I say bolted to about the 400 meter marker, and further back in the running, Royal Honeymoon. So Girlfriend and Ginger Biscuit. Ginger Biscuit with the red blinkers and the yellow silk, Sister Cosmos on the extreme right hand side, the blue cap. But Girlfriend and Ginger Biscuit, and then Ginger Biscuit goes on to score. So a form stable of Gavin Finzale and that of Warren Kennedy until the seventh race, back to the studio. Ginger Biscuit, a sweet victory for the daughter of Admire Main. She was bred by the Summerhill Stud for Advocate Van Bart, Mrs. Naidu, Pansy and the Van Zales. And you know her very, very well, so take us through this contest. Yeah, she's a small little filly, but she's robust. Um, you know, last time we fancied her a bit, but the six furlong I feel is just, just a bit much for her. She travels a bit too hard. She prefers the thousand metres they run off her feet, and she's got a devastating finish that way. And... Yeah, today she got squeezed out the gates a little bit, but I didn't really mind. I wanted to drop her out off the pace. And um, when I asked her to quicken, she moved up with a double handful. And it's a matter of asking her to quicken. She, she was always going to over the 1,000. And when I squeezed the button, it was all in. Touching on the soft conditions today was her first run in the soft, so she took it with both hands. Yeah, you know, it was always in the back of your mind. She is small. She might struggle through it. But, you know, going through the 400, a, a key place, once you start climbing the hill, she had a double handful. I could actually just hold her up, and she, when I asked her to quick in, it was automatic. And, you know, it's a, a very nice win. Just well done to Gavin and to the team at home and to all the owners as a host of them. Very well done. Any more winners for you? Look, we've got Harrison in the next. I think Spanish captain is going to be very hard to beat. He looks very classy. But we've got a quartet chance there. And the guy at the back's from Joburg. We don't know too much about him. He's drawn 18. So we just came to see what he does. Well done. Thank you. Thanks very much for Warren Kennedy coming back. Number one, Ginger Biscuit has come rip-roaring through. And as we see, they're winning on the outside. They're winning the inside, the center. It's all over. So that five-meter rail they got today is doing wonders.